Um, all right, next on our list. Uh, importance of good portfolio. Well, yeah, just on, on, that, on that topic, um, you know, talking about LinkedIn profiles, and mm. uh, there's two parts. One is the actual profile itself uh, on LinkedIn and what it says and what you're posting about, right? Like if you have um, not just the jobs that you've done and the, and the titles that you've, you've had and the companies that you work with, but more about, I, I think what people don't realize is that LinkedIn is not a resume. Uh, it is a branding portal for your personal branding, right? Or, and it can help your company that you work with, right? So, you know, getting back to the LinkedIn profile, um, you know, we titled this question is, you know, why, why your LinkedIn profile sucks? Because there's so, I, I, I haven't seen, literally, I don't think I've seen more than 10 awesome LinkedIn profiles, to be honest, hmm. where everything is really good, including my, I'm, I'm saying like, I, I need to tweak mine as well. But it's very hard to do, right? And, and one of the things that I'm gonna throw over to you, Dermot, is, is the importance of the, the, the picture and the f photograph. Um, but it's also more about the content that you put up as well, right? That people should be promoting themselves a lot better. And that's what we also try to help do. But on that point, um, why is a LinkedIn profile picture so important? Why is it so important? Well, um, you know, LinkedIn has become that platform where people go to. Um, you know, if you're going to do business with a company or you're going to be doing business with an individual or somebody you've come across in a professional life, uh, nowadays people will very often go to the LinkedIn profile to see who they are and what they do. And um, it may be that it, you're going to go to the LinkedIn profile before you've actually met the person. They're a potential job applicant or they're somebody that you're going to be doing business with or a company you want to be doing business with. And if that profile doesn't come across in a positive way, if it doesn't come across in a professional way, you're going to form an image or an image in your mind about these people or that company before you meet them. And that's really a negative to start off on. Mm -hmm. And especially for applicants for jobs. Um, it may, you know, they may have applied for the job, their resume may look very good, then within the company they're told go check the guy's profile and you know, five or six people who could be responsible in the, in the team location and structure will all turn up negative. I don't like the guy, he looks like a bit of a jerk. Only because he's put up a bad photograph of himself, only because when he was set, setting up his profile he couldn't find a photograph and he picked up something that was hidden away in his hard drive and it was like totally inappropriate and he's never gone back to change or never thought that he needs to change it, that he needs to create that image of himself, that branding of himself that gives people a sense of he's a good guy or she's a good girl, I want to do business with them, I feel comfortable with them, I want to hire them, I want to be, you know, connected with them. Yeah. And people miss that point all the time. They don't put the emphasis or the attention mm. to doing that. Yeah, well, I mean, we had the, the conversation before about, um, you know, I was, I was working with a candidate that, you know, he's a very C-level person um, and he was going for a country manager position. And it's one of the first things, I, you know, I checked out his profile picture and it's, wow, that is not a C-level profile picture, right? It's him in a baseball cap, you know, in, in a park. Mm. Very, oh, it's for Facebook, that's great for Facebook. Mm. Um, it's not up to par with what you should be. If you want to be a country manager, then you should be, you know, your profile on LinkedIn should make you look like a country manager. And a lot of times people are using their Facebook. And that, that particular case was like, it was kind of shocking that this guy was thought that that image was okay for him to get a country manager role, right? Mm. Uh, maybe on a baseball team, maybe, <laughs> you know. But yeah, and that goes back to, you know, you could have made them, you could have brought so much out, you know, in your own studio for that image and they probably would have a much easier job getting the, the country manager role because they're gonna look the part, right? So well, it, it amazes me, Sai, that the guy has such a terrific resume and great experience yeah. and totally right for the job, but has missed the point that no his one's image is not matching it, up to what his, <laughs> what his background and, and experiences are. Yeah. And it's, it happens to, I mean, there's nothing special about that guy. I mean, we see it all the time. This is our mission is to try and correct that and, mm -hmm. and give people that sense of that, how important that is. So, uh, you know, that's a good example, but yeah, it's, it's so common. Yeah, yeah, very common. Something else I've come across too, and uh, maybe this is, unique for like promotional materials or even like video thumbnails but um, sometimes you need to get a good photo quickly of somebody that looks good and professional and a lot of times they'll say uh, can you just take the photo from my LinkedIn and it was like well maybe 
but <laughs> how is your LinkedIn photo? So, mm. and I have done that, and I've and I've come across you know some decent ones, and sometimes that's a really quick, quick and dirty, easy way to get a a, a decent you know professional photo if they've taken the time to post one mm. uh, as their profile image. Then you can use that for uh, you know. So it's something to consider. You know, you don't you don't want to have the baseball cap photo be, be part of your branding yeah, uh, yeah. Or, or end up turning up there in the future sometime. Yeah. No, definitely. It is, it, it is kind of ironic in a way because I, I, I know over time we, we used to say, oh no, it shouldn't really matter how a person looks. It's, you know, it's all about the, the person and the profile that should be, but, but you know, why leave that to chance, I think? You know? Look your best and, and like you say, job appropriate too because right. if you're going after a country manager look like a country manager yeah you know if you're a surfer and you want to be a lifeguard well then yeah take the picture that makes you look like a lifeguard yeah 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 we're also in a country that generally requires <laughs> photos on resumes on when resumes, you apply right. for a and yeah. please a don't use your resume <laughs> your your didexio photo in your linkedin profile right which is like a mugshot or you know no <laughs> smiling and, and that's un unfortunately that's the thing i mean if if you know, in Japan, everyone puts their picture in. It's just the, you know, in the little cubes and everything like that. You pay the black and white suit. 800 yen for the, the photograph and everyone looks the same. But, but that's not... The equivalent of like a DMV photo. Yeah, it's, it's really, you know, unfortunate because, you know, when I talk to these candidates, I look at their, pro, you know, awful pictures, but great people. Hmm. And they got a match, right? Or, you know, they could be the opposite as well, right? Where you get <laughs> not so great person, but they have got a great, you know, great photograph. But one of the other common things that I see is, um, you know, on the LinkedIn profiles is people that, you know, they work at company A and their, their company spends the money to have maybe Dermot come out and do their professional photographs and everyone mm -hmm. is, it's branded. And then they change companies, but they're using the picture from the branded company that everyone knows right. is from that company on their profile picture for the next company. Mm -hmm. So my recommendation to that is if you're going to change companies, change your profile picture. <laughs> it's like, you know, changing job, but you grab a bunch of buyers when you leave the company. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Leave the stuff behind, you know, it's part of that history of that company. So get a new image. Yeah. No, I, and I would recommend that. Like basically anyone uh, that is, uh, one, I, I guess, Considering to change jobs, right? I mean, you, you might be restricted if you're at company A to keep that, that profile picture there. Um, but that doesn't mean that you, you can change everything else about what you're doing at that job to, to get the next one. But if you do change jobs, uh, do change the profile picture, that's for sure.